Hello, hello everyone and welcome. Thank you guys all for coming to hang out with me on a Friday night. If you watched my video yesterday, you know that I spent about seven, I think it was about $715, $715 at the local auction in person. And a lot of these boxes and lots, I have not looked through. So I loaded them in the car. I worked two 12 hour shifts and I haven't even got to look through them. So I am going to look through them with you. All of this stuff is for sale. There's nothing I'm keeping. I'm glad Duncan had his fish and chips lunch. And yeah, thank you all so much for coming and welcome. So first up, and I think I paid too much for these and there are going to be a few mistakes in these and that happens. Auctions move fast and I got there late. So I was not able to look everything up. So I kind of bid by what I thought and some I probably guessed wrong. I do actually want to kind of go over the in-person auction. Somebody did ask me to do that. So it really depends on your auction. This particular auction that I went to is Dudley's in Inverness, Florida. I have been there multiple times over the years. I just hadn't been in two years. And they typically start, they will go down to $5 on most everything. I haven't seen them go lower than that, but they'll of course try to get higher. They'll start at 20 or 25 and they will drop down to five. And then if nobody's still bidding at $5, they start, start to throw more stuff in for that $5. And sometimes you can get a lot for $5. So Alden Pike, welcome. First live with me. And Richard, I just want to say a special thanks to Otnip Drop Flips. He is my main moderator and he is live in the chat tonight helping and dropping some links. Duncan, I do not feel like buying fish and chips because I don't eat fish. Random thing random thing. Um, I did not, Holly, and I am holding it for you. Um, I haven't found it. It's so tiny. I think it's somewhere, but I'm holding it for you when I find it. All right. So first up, these are some haul vases, and this is one of the ones I think I made a mistake for. These actually only sell for about $25, it looks like. Um, I do have a pair of them, but I got them individually. So I think I paid 12 so after fees and stuff, I'm probably gonna a little bit less than double. I'll probably try and price high and put them as a pair. Duncan, Duncan, you don't have all the secret links. Richard has all the secret links. Um, so these two I got for 12 each and I will be listing them probably high to try and hopefully double my money, but I might not. All right. I'm hoping I figured out a system to be able to go through everything with you guys. This vase was in a lot, so I'm actually less than a dollar into it. And I thought it was really, really cool. It almost looks like an oriental vase. You can see the bottoms carved down there and it is signed Scott. I have tried and tried to see if this was possibly a known artist, but I have not been able to find it. So I'm less than a dollar in because it was in a big lot. And with this one, I am hoping I'm going to probably list it at 40 or $50. There are secret links. Richard's dropping them. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Welcome. All right. Let's see what's next. This is probably one of the favorite things I got. Look at this Tanala mug. And if you know Tanala at all, Ken Edwards is probably, I think, the most famous artist. And this is signed Guatemala Ken Edwards. And this is just an awesome, awesome mug. This I got for less than a dollar as well. I don't think it's Raku um, on the vase because Raku typically has a black bottom. Does that have a black bottom? It's not that dark, Mary. I, I think Raku has like a black bottom. All right, so there's the Tanala mug. Let's see what else. Yeah, the, I saw your post, Erin. That was that was hilarious. Yeah, it looks like Hull has went way down, and I had not found any Hull recently, and I was very disappointed in the price of that, to be honest with you. Very, very disappointed. Okay, 
more stuff from a five dollar box lot there is this this is just like a lap crochet blanket but i paid like a dollar i think i can probably get like 15 to 20 dollars for that um did i get it through a high bid auction no i got this from a live in-person auction i did a video yesterday with live bidding action and showed a lot of the bidding but a lot of the stuff was not shown because i was there six hours so i wanted to do this haul so everybody could see what i got and then let's see more stuff from a five dollar box lot this is going i paid probably about two dollars it's a Bucilla carousel horse. It looks like they're going for about 12 bucks. So that won't be a bad dollar into $12. Hey, Chris, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah, a lot. You got to watch with some of this pottery. Hopefully it'll come back up, but it might not. And then kitty cat purse. This is like a tapestry kitty cat purse. This smells like it's been in a closet forever. Um, it's not dirty, but you know that like musty smell. So this needs to air out. This is really, really cute though. And the handles are in really, really good shape. So I paid a dollar. I'm thinking probably like 20 to $25 for this cat purse after I air it out. Because right now, not going to list it. Not going to list it. Okay, let's see. And I have boxes all around me. So I was hoping I could get to all of this stuff. Now. This print is from 1864. It says Gaudi's Fashions for June 1864. I paid, I believe, $7.50 for this, and I'm hoping to get like $25 to $30. I'll research a little more, but $25 to $30 looked like it was about the going rate for this. i got to figure out how to stack this stuff so it does not break. Um, that print, yeah, that one I did win. The lot of cross stitch went to $120 and I, I stopped bidding. They probably were worth it. They were probably from the early 1900s and I probably could have got that for one of them, but I didn't know how high they go. Like he was not stopping. He was just like raising his hand and I'm like, okay, never mind. Cause I had spent quite a bit of money already. So I just let him have the cross stitch at a hundred. Um, I think there are a couple in here, Duncan. I think there are, um, I think at least one or two. Now these are some more vintage framed photos. Like this is amazing. Look at this print and I've got to tilt it. So my ring light doesn't get it, but how cool is that? And I think these are from the early 1900s as well. They might even be a little bit older. This box, this one's out of the box that I paid $65 for the box. Um, and look at the back. I don't think I've ever seen a picture frame with wood holding it in. And this on the bottom says, love me, love me not. So I'm going to have to research this, see if I can find this print. And hopefully it'll be worth the money. I don't think I made a bad, um, I don't think I made a bad buy on that box for $65. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull some more out of that same box. I'll show you. I have some of it close. This is another print from that same box. This one says London and Paris fashions for 1862. Really, really cute print and really cute frame. Yeah, I've never seen a print with wood like that on the back. So like I said, I'll have to research and these I paid 65 for the box. And I think, so I think I'm about three to $4 in per print. Dale flipping fiasco. My BFF is in the house. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Yes. It's really weird. Now check this print out. So the lady bidding against me, we had talked throughout the auction and she came up to me afterwards and she said, I really felt bad for running you up on that box of prints but I really wanted one and I thought about it. And honestly, if she had not bid me up, I would have given her that print, but she did bid me up. So I took it home and I'm going to show you what she was fighting me for. This is the only print she wanted out of the box. Isn't it cute? Very, very cute. I don't think it's signed. It's definitely vintage, but had she not run me up, 
I would have given it to her, but she did run me up. So I brought it home. The nails. So like this one, you can't see the nails holding on this one. This one's just paper on the back. Um, so Mitzi, I have thought about having a booth, um, but there are only two antique malls within an hour of me, and both of them have over 40 to 50 people on their waiting list. So, and plus, I really don't want an overhead cost because you're kind of starting the month negative, and I would rather just, um, I would rather just list online. Okay. Now, this one says your son, Paul. This is a vintage silhouette. And I do have a ton of silhouettes. I bought a lot of silhouettes. This one is cool. It's not dated. I wish it was dated. Um, but pretty cool there. And then, let's see. Now I'm out of that. Hold on. My hair is getting all crazy. I, I was listing before, so I will tell you guys, um, we'll get back to the silhouettes. I don't want to overkill on the silhouettes. I have a lot of them. I want a lot, but I will tell you that one of them, one of the small four by six is already sold for $30 today in less than two days. So that was part of actually the box lot. So I've already almost got half my money back in less than two days on that $65. And it was a small one. I don't have it to show you because it already shipped out. Um, if Tiffany's asking, if I can't find any comps on the prints, what would I list them at? I would try and find something similar, but just off the top of my head, I would say like 50 to $75. I, I absolutely love silhouettes um, and I've done very well with them. So this vintage lot, I absolutely love and I haven't really dug through it. Um, look at this and it is hand stitch. I believe, is it a tablecloth or a table runner? I believe it is a tablecloth, like a four foot tablecloth, but look at how cute hand stitched with the hens and chicks. Very, very cute. It does have some stains, um, but I probably can wash this one. Let's see. This is cool. This is hand done as well. Like a really pretty um, star centerpiece, like quilted. That one is really pretty as well. This is probably my favorite piece out of that lot, though. I absolutely love this. Look at this. It's bears and hearts. Oh, one of them's flipped over. Hold on. Let me flip them over. It's bears and hearts, and they're all quilted, like out of old quilts. Isn't that cool? I love this. Like, this is so cute. This is one of my favorite things. And I actually looked at some like this um, in the antique store, and I think they were like $30. I'm like a couple dollars into that. And then there are a bunch. Look, this is like so cute. I don't know if it's, I, I don't think it's meant to come off. Like it's a vintage rolling pin, and it has this crocheted around it. This was in a lot I got. Yeah, the tinsel is starting to come down because my hair's grown out, so I don't know how long it'll last before I catch the beads with the um, brush. Okay, this is some more. So this was also in there. This is like a carved wood thing, and all of these were hanging on it, but just look at this piece by itself. Like, really, really cool. Definitely vintage. And it... um. I'm looking because it's got the little hooks, but look at these, look at this. How cute is that? It's like a doily dress and it's red, white, and blue. There's that one. Look at, they're just so cute. Look at this, really cute. And this is some little shorts. <laughs> these are just so cute and they all have little things to hang them on the wall. Another little shirt. 
All right. Oh, I found some more. Another little dress. And like these, I might list them individually. I honestly might list them individually. I'm not sure. Let's see. What do I want to grab? This, let's see. It says Auntie Drudge's Cookbook. Fells Naphtha, Philadelphia. I'm trying to find a year. There should be a year in this. Should be. Not seeing it though. I do not see it. It's very old. What does that say? I don't know. Maybe it's cotton thread. I'm not sure. Um, D, it's 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 definitely like doily type. And then this card, this is really cute. It, I wish it was dated. It says, just a little Christmas remembrance to keep alive in our hearts, the ember of love and friendship. May you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It's not dated. That's like a really cute card, though. Really, really cute. Pyography. Which one, Alden? The the wood the wood hanger. Okay, what else? Oh, look look how cute this is, and I'm actually gonna give this to my friend who hopefully is not watching. Um, I know she does watch me occasionally, but she always makes pepper jelly and gives it to me and Brad. So I was gonna save this vintage little cross stitch for her for Christmas that says pepper jelly. So if she's watching, she now knows what I'm getting her for. Hey, Harley. Thank you, Richard. Okay. And then look at this little water. Look at how cute. Just a little watermelon hanging. A little dowel. There's so much cute little stuff here. Um, this is actually from Renninger's, and I forgot to show it, but I brought it in from the car. Look at this really cool. This is Salmon Falls, which is one of my favorite potters. If you ever find them, you will know because they have the Salmon Falls stamp there. And this is a planter. I have not seen many planters from Salmon Falls. So I got this at Renninger's at the flea market, not at the antique extravaganza. And I think I got them down to like $8 and it should sell for about 30 to 40. So that's a nice piece there. All right. What else is in the box? There is, so my hair is getting all over because I'm bending everywhere. Um, There's this rooster recipe box. And I didn't even like look, but it's got like all of this little stuff in it. So it's got this little, this is cast iron. This little thing is super heavy, super heavy. And then this is like for a receipt. Ever, Richard, don't you say anything. I didn't break anything. Didn't break anything. So this is like a receipt holder. But this is cast iron. I don't think it says anything. So this was in it. And then look, there's all of these little like pepper shaker tops in there. So that was all inside of this little rooster recipe box. Yeah, I've done very well with Salmon Falls as well, Erin. I don't have any pieces. I need to list that one. Um, is this dovetailed? Is that what that means? Tell me, tell me. All right. Let's see what else. Look at this. Look at how cute. I don't know what you would put in it. It's got a little pocket. Hi, Pam. So she's super cute with her little pocket. And then this little house, it's like a key one. I was trying to read it. Um, 
this is a little house like key holder. And this one says Sheila's Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, for what, Melinda? Tell me for what. And I'll tell you. Who is for? Oh, she's for clothespins. Oh, cool. Thank you, guys. This. So Alden's saying it's box joint. I'm trying to wait. Melinda, tell me what you're asking how much for before I bury stuff. Okay, next. If you like cows, this is cute. The clothespin holder. I don't know, like 10 bucks. I'd be happy with 10 bucks. If you want it, tell me and I'll set it to the side. Plus shipping, but it's light. It would be first class. And look at, okay, look at how cute this cow is with its little bandanas. Really, really cute little decoration. It could even be almost like a ornament, really, if you wanted right now, but it's a good decoration one. Okay, Melinda, I will, I'll set it aside for you. I'm trying to set aside whatever you guys want. Okay. I don't know how old this is. It says it was made in Germany. Let me see if I can get that for you guys. See the made in Germany? And look, it's a candlestick holder. It's really cute. I don't know what kind of metal it is. It's heavy. But they have a little paper in there so that the candle stayed in. Really cute. And made in Germany. So I'll have to look that one up. Let me, I'm going to write because otherwise I will forget. I'm not going to lie. I will forget. I will forget. Let me write it. Yeah, I don't know. I really, oh, we're chinging. We're chinging live. What did I sell? I sold a pennant for $13.99 and I sold some jeans for $7 plus shipping. Not too bad. Rod iron, $1,800. The, the candlestick holder, There, I think there was a lot of old stuff here. Now, this is from 1978. I know because it's dated. This is, what's this lady's name? Lita Gates. And these look like they sell for about 25 to 30. Look at her face. Look at her face. And her little dress. And her hat. So I think they sell for about 25 to 30. And she's got her little birds over here. Really, really cute. She was in a box lot. I think I paid like five bucks for all of it. Pretty sure. But there are more of them. Of the Lita Gates dolls. Um... Okay, more of the little doily clothes. I don't know what they're called. I'll have to research. There's another. There's a ton of these. Here's some more. More, more, more. Lots of them. Okay. Now, are you ready? This is heavy. Mr. Peanuts Planters Vintage Cast Iron bake. There's your coin slot. Really cute. Um, I think I can get like 40 to 50 for him, but he's, he's really cute. Really cute. He's very heavy. Cast iron. I meant not wrought iron. Okay. This Maybe a toothpick holder. Pretty cute. You can see the little push pins. Uh, Gina, I think they're pot holders. I think uh, Nifty 50s, right? I think they're little pot holders for the kitchen. I don't, because they ha all have little hanging things to hang them up. What else? What else? Look at this. 
I don't know if that's a chef or I don't know what, but it, he's got two little hooks for pot holders or whatever else you might want. All this stuff is definitely vintage. Definitely vintage. All right. You ready? Watt Pottery, which is another good name. I did not pay $20. That was on there for the... Um, before the auction. This is 1999 Watt Pottery. There's that. <laughs> um, and I think these sell for about 35 to 40. And then I also, with this, I got this apple dish, which is actually by Alpine Pottery. Okay, Kathy, thank you. That's good to know. Thank you, Amy, for using it. I, I love Worth Point. I, I probably use Worth Point over 10 times today, if not more. I use Worth Point a lot. And I actually am going to go hopefully have lunch um, with one of the Worth Point like, promotion people, which will be cool. She lives very close to me. Oh, nice, Dee. Let me, let me see. Okay. There's another, this is a little plastic uh, pepper shaker with Mr. Peanut here. Planner's Peanut. Oh, wait, I have the other one. Aha. I have the salt and pepper shaker set. Mr. Peanut Planner's. This one, I thought one of, th yeah, this one has a crack on the bottom. These are really cute. And we're doing great at sales this weekend. Last week, we did about $3,000. Um, so our sales are up by, I want to say like 18 or 20% compared to last month. Yeah, that's cracked, Richard. And then a stick of garlic. I mean, it's not really garlic. It looks like it's paper mache garlic. To hang. Uh, Renee, tell me which one, if you mean the cast iron bank or the salt and pepper shaker. And then I've also got, I've got more planners, just two more things. Let me grab them. I bought all the planner stuff as a lot. Hold on. I think these are salt and pepper shakers too. Um... No, Tiffany, I did not. I had to stay away from Worth Point. These are, like, they're so small, but I guess they're salt and pepper shakers. Well, I got to move these plates. I got to move these plates because I'm going to drop something on them one time that will break them. Um, little salt and pepper shakers. They obviously need cleaned. Um, I would do 30 for the bank for you, Renee, and then um, $10 for the um, salt and pepper shakers. I didn't break it, Richard. Um, 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 um. I didn't break it. It's not broke. Okay, here. Here's your, your, these are from this as well. I paid $5 for these. Um, these are Gloria Ant and Weidel. You can see they had it priced at $165. I can't find these even on Worth Point. I found a couple of pieces of hers, um, but I couldn't find these. I haven't tried um, Google Lens, but I tried. Um, I tried. What did I try? Worth Point. Um, I'll tell you how high the bank is. Probably like eight inches, if I had to guess. I thought I had a tape measure here. I think like eight inches. I don't have a tape measure. I think about eight inches. Like big as my head. So I've got those plates. Um. Oh my gosh. I did not see this. I like this. Look at the these crows. I might have to send this to Jocelyn. Because Jocelyn likes crows. And this would this is like almost like a very cute. Um, 
ornament. I think I'm going to set that aside. Let's see. I don't know. What is the, I guess just for towels, something. And then this says use Fan Chan, the flower of quality. They do, Mary. I agree. I agree. Um, Marsha, you are on Facebook. That's why you're not seeing all the YouTube comments. So the majority of people are watching on YouTube. So that's where the chat is. Um, yes, 200 of you watching. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Um, definitely hit that thumbs up for me. I'm so happy YouTube took away. You cannot see if or how many people disliked a video. And I think that is great. All right. Another old almanac. This one is from 1935. Said first black drought card due for women. The ladies birthday almanac. Really cool. 1935. Yeah, if you come over, if you guys on Facebook come over to YouTube, that is where mostly everybody is and you can chat. Okay. The glass broke on this, guys. Okay, the glass broke. And I'm not sure what I should do with this. Maybe you guys can tell me. I don't know if it's worth saving or not worth saving. I'm trying to be careful because it does have broke glass. I would take the glass out. But it's like baby socks, I think, maybe. And it looks like maybe there's a sweater behind there. But I don't know if I should save this or not save it. Because I'm definitely going to have to take the glass out because it broke. It was broke when I bought it. Um, I did not break it. Let's see what else is in here. I have not dug. Let's see. There's another. This is a cool pot holder. This one's really nice. I didn't break it, Richard. It was broke when I bought it. And then there's another little rolling pin with hangers. I need to put it back in this box, though. Oh! I think I found the candle for that thing, for the, the, this thing. Yeah, look. Ha ha. Um, yeah, the frame looks perfectly good. Would you sell it with what's in it? It's a very old frame. Okay, let me. Hold on. But this box is empty. I have empty boxes and then I have full stuff beside me. Okay. All right. What's next? Here are some more. Yay, Mary. Here are some more. Look how bright this is. Beware. It might blind you. It's much brighter in person. There's this one. There are some cool ones. Look at this one. This one. These were all on a $5 flat. This one. Look at this. And then that's the reverse side. This one's really stained, so I might toss that one. There's that one. These are just plain. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to decide what to grab next to show you. I love this silhouette. Look at this silhouette. Oh, and the paper just fell out of the back of it. So I'm going to probably take the paper out. Look at this. She's walking her little Scotty dog or Schnauzer dog there. Uh, yes, I'm 700 all in. And a lot of it was these silhouettes. A lot of it was silhouettes. Let's see. And then 
This is really pretty. And this is signed Carol Dowling. It still has a $6 price from like a yard sale, but it says joy. And this is hand drawn. Like if you get in close, this is hand done. And it is signed on the bottom, Carol Dowling. This is a really, really pretty print. And it has her name and Massachusetts on the back. But for Christmas, I really try, need to try and get that one listed soon. I love that. Um, This is probably not old, but it's a Noel sign for like your mantle. I might put that on my mantle. Yeah, this is made in China. But may, this would be cute on the mantle. I'm going to sit it out because I'll probably... Bye, Heather. Uh, yes, Miss Betsy, I am selling things tonight. Um, that silhouette for you, um, that one I just showed, I would do 20. I think I paid 12 for that one. Um, if I listed it, I would probably list it at 40 or 50. And I have like 30 other silhouettes that I'll be showing as well. But yes, everything is for sale tonight. So if you're Christmas shopping or whatever, just if you want something, tell me. Here, look, this is another one of my favorites. Look at her hand feeding the peacock. Yes, Gritty Gret. Carol Dow. Oh, Downing. Downing, I think. Hold on. Dow Dowling. D-O-W-L-I-N-G. Dowling. This is probably my favorite one I picked up. Like, look at, this is just amazing. This is amazing. So these two, I paid more um, because I knew I wanted them and I didn't want somebody else to get them. I love this peacock. And I missed, somebody paid like $20. There were pirates, there were pirate silhouettes and I missed them, but they went for over $20 a piece. All right, let's see what else. They told me what potter this was, and I don't remember. Does anybody know which pottery company this is? Yes, Miss Betsy, there are smaller that I'm going to show. I can, um, I can show some now, but I will tell you some of the smaller are worth more than the bigger because um, they're older. Like these two, these are probably the oldest. Look at these two. Abraham Lincoln. These are antique for sure. Cross stitch. Whoa. Dropped. Mary Todd Lincoln. I did not break her. I love pirates. Mary Todd Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Signed probably from the late 1800s. I drop stuff all the time, Duncan. Um, I'll show you guys some of these smaller silhouettes. There is this one with her reading and Cupid. There's that one, them reading the book by the fire. That one, they are playing the piano. Hold on. There's, there's a lot. Now, these, somebody sent me an offer today, and I declined it. Um, I have these listed at like 20 to 25 each. These are bird prints um, by J.L. Jaquez. There are those, and somebody sent me $12 each, and I, I declined. I countered them, and they, they ignored mine. Or not ignored it. They declined mine, my counter offer. All right. There's that one. Now this one's peeling up a little bit. That frame is really cool. These are really old too. Look at these. Cross stitch silhouettes and they match. And then there's this one with the little girl playing with her baby doll. These I think I already listed on eBay. And then there's this one with the girl reading. What else? What else? 
these um these are our listed the small ones are almost all listed on ebay already that doesn't mean i won't sell them tonight but they are already listed and then this one's kind of cool with the little boy and it looks like his mother and a puppy it says good night kiss is the name paired with the gift bearer linoleum pressed prints and not the cross stitch i would assume too okay i'm gonna skip some silhouettes and go to some other stuff and then we'll come back to the silhouettes i have th this is a little individual salt dish i still haven't moved these plates mind you i got a ton so i showed the individual salts but i did not show me winning um I did win all of the individual salts. All of the individual salts came home with me. This is a master salt, I believe. This looks like it is crystal. And then there's some really cool individual salts in here. Yes, I am. And if I don't answer you, then I probably did not get your email. Thank you, Mitzi. I appreciate that. Okay, there's a box. I kind of stack stuff in here. It's kind of scary. Look at this swan. This one is cute. Look at it. Really pretty pink. Little salt. There are more. There are more. Little basket. Does anybody, it's somebody, Shawnee, maybe it's Shawnee Pottery. I don't know. Who is this maker? Does anybody know? Really cute salt and pepper shaker set. And then I have the extra girl. I have the extra girl shaker. Um, I paid 25 for the salt slot. I think I'm about a dollar in each. You know, I love being a dollar in everything. Digging more salts out. I just dropped the salts all down in this tote. Okay, more salts. Now I just ripped my hair out. Lots and lots of salt. Shawnee pottery. Okay, good. This one's a really pretty salt. I didn't want them to do them individual, and I honestly thought somebody would get the uranium ones and ask to just get those, and they didn't. So I do have the uranium ones. There's another. And the bad thing is I don't think any of these dang things match. I am always, I am almost always a dollar into pieces. I love getting stuff for a dollar. Hold on. Oh, maybe this is the master salt. Maybe the, uh, there's two master salts. None of them match. Shawnee, Jack, and Jill. How much do the Shawnee go for? I think I, I think I paid like five bucks for all three. This one says genuine handmade Cambridge made in the USA. Um, a salt, these, so... Back in the day, people would sit these on the table and everybody would have their own individual salt. So this would be filled with salt and you would pinch it onto your food. And then like this would be a master to fill up the other salts. Okay, what is this? Okay, inside of this box, it's little tiny silhouettes. There's that one. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I'll put them back in the box for now. This, I think he's got fish, it looks like. Looks like a bag of fish almost. 
Nobody's giving me any super chats. That's why there's no dolphin. Here is, look at this with the carriage. This one's a nice one. And these are tiny, if you see. Now, these do say patent number. I don't see anything else. And there's the last one. Then, I'm trying to see if anything is written on in here. Doesn't look like it. Um, what is in here? Yankees Main Dish Church Supper Cookbook. Let's see if it has a date. 1980. The fish guy? Uh, yeah. And those little ones, um, for you guys, I'll just do $10, Miss Betsy, plus shipping. So it'll probably be $14 with shipping because they're light. This one? Sure, Richard, I'll give you a dolphin. I got to set this aside for Miss Betsy and write it down, though, before I forget. Um, my email is the nurse flipper at yahoo.com, Miss Betsy. I don't know yet. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they would make a cute little trinket dish. I don't know keywords for those yet. I haven't sold really any salt. All right, Richard sent me a $2 super chat. Richard, thank you. Here you Super chat. I'm writing it down that Miss Betsy's getting that little silhouette. So, yeah, just email me at thenurseflipper at yahoo.com. Richard, thank you so much. I um, I told Richard earlier, and I guess I can tell you guys, um, I paid someone today to start developing my website. So, I own thenurseflipper.com, and um, I've done nothing with it. I bought it about six months ago, and, yeah, I paid somebody today to design my website for me, so I'm really excited. So there's that one. And then this one says Great New England Festival Recipes. This one is from, I don't see a date. I don't see a date. Yeah, I'm very excited about it, Mary. Okay, Kat, well, we'll try and get some for it. I think I paid five for all three of them. Here's another, the Great New England Cook-Off Cookbook. And I told her, we're going to try and do like, the, the dolphin is what, my hair's going crazy. The dolphin is what made me think of that because I told her I always do the dolphin. So I want to do my website kind of like nautical themed and maybe have some dolphins on it. So this is cool, the New England Cook-Off. So this, I guess, is a recipe or card box. That's what I was looking in. It's like a greeting card organizer, it says. So it's got like birthday cards and like whatever cards you would want to send in it. Hey, Miss Jennifer. All right. Yes, coming soon. Okay. I, I have no clue what is in the bottom of this totes. Now, are you ready for the most amazing salt that there was? Check this out. It's like a pink milk glass. It is a salt. And it's almost got this translucence around it. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. That is an awesome one. And then here's some more. Most of them were clear. That's why I didn't want them. But I figured for a dollar a piece, you know, there are a few that really stand out. Um, so, yeah. All right. A Hallmark Believe plate. This is cute. Let's see what else. A Hallmark Joy plate. Doesn't have a year, but this is really cute with the reindeer. No, if it was a votive holder, it would be round and it's oval. So it's probably a salt. It's not round for a votive. 
What's down here? Okay. Where's my light? Here it is. Let me see. Well, hold on. Let's turn the light off. Come on, light. See them? These are nice. Very nice. Um, $10 for the swan. I have two of these uh, uranium ones. If I can make the light work. Um, do you mean, are the salt, that, are you talking about the salt sellers? Yeah, um, send me, I'll tell you the uranium ones, which are absolutely amazing. The uranium ones, I want 15 for the pair. Um, I would do 10 for the swan. So email me if you want these, um. And then if you want like a grouping of the different clear ones, um, I would do $2 a piece if you got like eight of them, Miss Lynn. Um, I take, I mainly send via PayPal is how I send my invoices, but I also could put it up on my big cartel site where you could do any kind of credit card as well. Okay, Miss Marcia says she would like the swan. Okay, I will set that aside as well. Um, okay, gotcha. Let's see what else is in here. This is very pretty. I'm trying to see if it's signed. I don't see that it's signed. Check this out. hard to see but this is like rainbow and it's like an oil lamp because it's just got the tiny piece they had it priced at $20 um I don't know let me see if the swan does glow I'll see all right miss uh Brigida wants the uranium ones i will write that so my richard has been putting my email and um it's also scrolling across the bottom uranium and i'll set those aside no no it didn't sound rude it didn't sound rude just send me an email um when you send me an email, send me what you were wanting, what price I said, and your mailing address and your PayPal email. Um, Abby, if you if you wanted it, I would do 15 bucks on it. I haven't comped any of this stuff. So right now you're probably gonna get the better deals because I haven't checked prices. I think that's it on the uranium, Miss Marsha. I'm sorry. So yeah, I I could do 15 on this. It it might go under a pound too. Let me see if the swan glows. I'm going to set the egg here in case you want it. Let me see. Oh. I'm going to drop stuff all night. I did not if I break something I will tell you guys. Oh, it looks like it might. Hold on. It's not a big glow, but it does have a glow. Look at that. It does have a glow. She was right. Any of the clear salts glow. I'm trying to make my, my black light is a piece of work. This one kind of looks like it does. Not like overly though. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I'm writing it down, Caroline. I'm writing it down. Um, oh, 
Uh, Rooster Bullet Farm, here's a question. And you guys can ask questions throughout these when I'm doing these live hauls. Um, does anyone know how to change, how a buyer can change feedback? Yeah, so what you will do is go to your feedback and when you see the negative, you can click request revision and send that to her. Yes, Miss Marsha, that is your swan. Yes, I have you written down for the swan. Uh, typically, it means it's got uranium in it, Renee. Those are uranium pieces. All right. This is cute. This is that same lady. Um, what's her name again? Lita Gates. Look at how cute. Like, you can't actually see her face. There is no face. But she's got, look at the rocking horse. How cute is that? And the wreath with the bird. Again, these are like $25 to $50, depending on the doll. They're from 1978. This one's really, really cute. And these are actually why I bought um, that box. Let's see what else. I really don't know what's in here. More salt. More salt. Some of these salts are very pretty. They're just clear and clear is a little bit harder to list in keyword. I have so many salts. And this, what is in here? Let's look. That's kind of cute. I can give somebody money with this. Look, season's greeting and it holds money and you put like the president in that. I'm going to keep that. I'll give somebody some money. Hold on. Look at this mouse card. Are there more than one? There are. So these say 1995 Janeki, and there are more than one. Look at how cute these mouse Christmas cards are. And I believe they are new. Hold on. Let me make sure. They are new. Look at these. How cute is that? How cute are these cards? Like, I love these. And it says 1995 Alan Jure Ellen Jarecki. House Mouse Designs. <laughs> Mary. Those are so cute. I guess these are like, they're all unused. Like, they're all Christmas cards. And, but the cool thing, like, look at the, look at the envelope for it. Like, how cute is that? These are like not, you, you know what I mean? They're not like mass produced. They all have like really nice, look at this envelope. Made from some of the stamps that sold for a hundred dollars each. What do you mean? What stamps? These are some nice cards. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm amused with, look, so look at the, that's the envelope. And then look at the cute little Christmas card. These are really cute. There's another one. They all, it's, oh, these say they're National Wildlife Federation cards. So maybe somebody donated. Oh, house mouse rubber stamps. That's interesting. I really like those cards. Look at that. They're so cute. Okay. But they were in this box that says Merry Christmas. It's like a long oval box. What is this? What is it? I think it's more house mouse. Mouse house, whatever it is. House mouse. Look at these little cards. Hold on. OMG. 
Oh my God, they're so cute. Look at these. OMG, look at this. They're like little tea tiny cards for presents. These are adorable. Look at this. Look at this. Like, oh my gosh. This is a little Hummel one. 1984. Hummel. 1984. But there's a whole, look. There's a whole bag of the house mouse little cards for presents. Um, Jody, for the clear salts, you can order as many as you want. I will do $2 a piece. I paid about a dollar. That's double what I paid. Um, just cause they're harder for me to list and you could order whatever you wanted. Um, let me tell you how many there are. And I mean, it would be what you order plus shipping. Yeah. The, I like these cards. Okay. Hold on. How many clear salts? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I have 21 clear salts, 21. You can order as many or as little as you want. This is Barely People is the name of this bear. She's kind of cute. Their little dress, her little flowers. Barely People is the brand. This was all in a tote. Oh, there's more plates. Oh, okay. They were Avon plates. Yay. Not really. 10th Avon anniversary. 15th. Well, the 12th one's kind of cute, but I highly doubt these go for much. I will probably list them because I have them. Yes, you can do combined shipping, of course. Yes. I don't know if I'm going to sell those mouse cards. Email me, Jody, about, email me, and if, I, if I'm going to sell the mouse cards, I will tell you. I don't know how much I would do on them, but I'm really thinking about keeping the very cute mouse cards. I might not. I probably will not. I end up not. So email me, Jody, um, and I'll save 10. So that leaves 10 of the clear salts left. Oh, Christy. Um, hold on. I need to look. Hold on. I'm going to look. Some people do collect Avon, but not very many people. I am searching. I cannot see what you guys are saying. Um, okay. I... Well, Jody said she wants a pack of the mouse cards. Tell me, hold on. I'm I will sell them. I will suck it up. Jody, tell me do you want the bit do you want the little ones for gifts or do you want like the bigger ones to mail out? I think on I, I remember, Renee, I probably will sell it. You want these ones? So if, if Christy, if you want these, these are the big mouse ones. And then I have more stationary, um, honestly.
let me see how many there aren't many hold on i don't want to be unfair i know i want ten dollars for the little gift cards though because it looks like 10 of those sell for there's only four of these um 15 dollars for both sets Oh, Christy wants the big ones. Hold on. Christy asked first. So Christy's got the big ones. Christy, do you want the little ones or no? If not, I'll do the little ones for 10. I'm doing the big ones for five. And I lost my pen. Go figure. Okay, so the big ones for five. So Christy is going to get 10 salts. Plus the mouse cards. Okay, so email me at the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. That'll be 25. And then if somebody wants the rest of them, the gift ones. Oh, Jody wants the little ones. Jody, who asked for the rest of them? Y'all are confusing me. Hold on. Hold on, I'm looking. Uh, no tea towels yet. Christy, Christy, Christy. Only the big ones for five. Jody asked first, Miss Breja. Jody said she wanted them first. I'm sorry. Do you want, Jody, do you want? So I want 10 for these. You said you want those. Um, there are, these are the really nice ones. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight um i'd like to get 15 for these so jody wants these for 10. let me set those i'm writing in sharpie now because that's all i can find jody little mouse for 10. and then does anybody want the rest of these for 10 the big ones these are the ones with really nice matching cards, like our envelopes. All of them are really nice with matching, very nice card envelopes. Does it? She wanted the Christmas mouse ones, but I don't think, Christy, did you want these Christmas ones or the Christmas mouse ones? These Christmas I'll do for 10 for all of them. All right, tell me. I used to look through the Avon catalogs too. Oh, but I'm keeping the money thing. I'm keeping the money thing. Christy, Christy, I thought you wanted the big mouse ones. I thought she said the mouse ones, just the mouse ones. I was right. So if anybody wants the big, nice Christmas cards with matching envelopes for 10... Let me know. There's seven of them. They're all different. Hey, Clay. I'm glad you're here, my friend. All right. Which egg? What egg? Oh. I said 15 on the egg, but nobody said they wanted the egg. Okay, let me find this lady. This is another of the Lita Gates. These are from 1978. Isn't she cute? Super cute. Oh, there's her face. I found it. It is not signed, Abby. I looked. Not signed. Christy's saying yes to the egg. Okay. Christy, email me if you mean the cards. Because I have you for 10 salts and the mouse cards and you want the egg? Okay, let me put this ugly lady, I mean, pretty lady. Look at her face though, look at her face. Rah! Okay. 
Lita Gates. Those go for like 25 bucks. Hold on. Okay, this tote's almost empty. The last thing in the tote is this. That's awesome, Clay. I'm happy for you. This is a baseball player in this old frame. Definitely old. They are they are ugly dolls. I agree. I agree. Okay. Well, this is how I'm doing them for me. I'm doing a haul, and then if you guys want stuff, then you can get stuff. Okay. I these are little Pyrex bowls. I this flat was five dollars for the whole flat. So I got three of these little Pyrex bowls. I, I haven't looked stuff up. I love these. I absolutely love these. Look at these. Look. Okay, Christy. Ugly does sell. I agree. So, like, these, look, the base, this is the base with the stick, and then they all just slide on top. These are really nice. They're coasters, Abby, coasters. Set of four. He will. Dalton will want the coasters because he knows what coasters are for. He has his coasters inside, though. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I don't know what these are. Are these like jello molds? Does anybody know? What are these things? Anyone, anyone? Are they jello molds? There's no name on them. What are these things? My phone's going crazy. Tart tens, jello and pudding. I guess they could be whatever they wanted them to be, right? Richard and Duncan, thank you both for keeping the um, chat clean. I appreciate you. Some little bells. I, you guys, you wouldn't think these little bells would sell. I've sold some of these for like five bucks. I mean, people buy stuff that you wouldn't think. And then this little house with the snowman. Little ornament. It is Habitat for Humanity. Little ornament. Oh, yeah, I guess you could. Karen's right. I could see people doing it for candles, too. And then this little frame says, may your days be happy. May your heart be light. Your home full of joy and your spirit bright. This is uh, from 2001. So I guess technically this is vintage, which is kind of scary. I don't know what this is, but the hand, the edges are hand stitched. Do you see the hand stitching there? Look at this. It needs washed. It needs a bath. It needs a bath. And then this is really cute too. This is like thick wicker and it's got like the holly and the pine cone. And then it's got a candle in it. Um... What is this? Somebody tell me. I know you guys are going to know. It says Taiwan 64. And this is it. What is this? Who knows what this thing is? The wood coasters, Mary, I do. I do for 20 bucks. I, maybe a can opener, but look at it. Hold on, I gotta put my hand there. Yeah, Julian might know what this is. A shoehorn, maybe. That's very possible. And then there's this little, your special, little vintage Valentine case. 
I don't I, like. I don't know. I see everybody pick up stove covers for the old cast iron stoves. Okay. Hmm. Good to know. Do we think it'll sell? I'm guessing. This is cute. This says St. St. Labre Indian School. It's probably like if you donated, they gave you stuff. It's a little teepee. Um, Abby, I don't know where the glass is. So I'm kind of going in the order of what I've got. This is by Ideal. I think this is for like safety pins or paper clips. What do you guys think? Safety pins, paper clips. Okay, I'll write you. Let me find them before they get lost. Okay, I got them. Mary Coasters. Yeah, so I think that's for safety pins or paper clips or something. Yeah, I think that's the consensus is that that's a handle to move the cast iron covers from an old cook stove. And then I have this little snowman dude. This is more modern. This is not vintage. This is another master salt. And then... This is another piece by Ideal. This is a guitar bottle opener. It's Ideal. Uh, just like five bucks, nifty 50 plus shipping. And it'll be first class. So it'll end up being like under 10 bucks for him. If you, if you, he's really cute. And then I like this eye lifter. Mary wants the bottle opener. Hold on, where'd it go? And we can do, oh, Mary beat you, Renee. Okay, hold on. I'm. She beat you, Renee, I'm sorry. Okay, so we'll do five on the bottle opener. I'm not trying to do a live sale. I'm trying to do a haul, but I'm more than happy to sell you guys stuff. And then Nifty 50 wants the paper clip guy. I'm sorry, Renee. I'm not I'm not trying to to sell things. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I got the safety pin guy set to the side. I don't, I don't think he's a bottle opener. He's not strong enough to be a bottle opener. I don't think. Oh, he holds it? Uh-oh. But I already sold him separate. She's right. I see. I'm not trying to have a live haul sale. <laughs> I'm really not trying. Okay, so Mary says that Renee can have it. But, no, he goes into my uh, PayPal, Doreen. Um, but the question is, Nifty 50. Okay, here's the question. He, he goes with him. So I need to get $10. So Nifty 50, do you want the whole thing? Or do you want to let Renee have it? So I need 10 for the two pieces, but they need to go together. They belong together. They are right. I did not know. So Nifty 50, do you want this for 10? Or do you want to let Miss Renee have it? You tell me. I'm moving on. Look at this. 1972 bird and bottle in 
this tile trivet with cast iron is made in Japan. How cool is that? Okay, Nifty 50 took it, Renee. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. I'm writing it. Okay. Hold on. I'm emptying a box. Now, this, if you guys want to look this up, if somebody could find this, this is signed. This is brass base. Look at this. Look at this shade. Like, how awesome is this? This is signed. It looks like TL, if anybody can find this. Looks like it's signed TL. And then there's also a signature here. But I cannot read that. This is absolutely amazing. This is another of my favorite pieces I picked up. I'm assuming it works. It's got a bulb in it. It's like a nightlight bulb size. Yes, I love this lamp. I don't see that the shade is signed, but the base is signed. TL. All right. This I did show in the video. Tell me if this is a bottle or an oil lamp. Because somebody said it was an oil lamp. Look at this. It says Japan. I'm going to only turn it one time. This is cool. So it's a music box on the bottom. It says Japan. It's working. Um, I would do the three round wood ones, which they are listed on my eBay, so I would need to take them down. And I have them, of course, on eBay for more. Hold on, let me look. Because those are already listed. Let me see. Hold on. Let's look. I can't see you guys right now. I got to look up these round silhouettes. Let me look them up. Let's see. Um, I have them listed at like 25 and 35 each. I would do all three for $40 if you want them, Miss Peggy. I would do all three for 40 and I have them listed at 28, 28, and 34. Um, I think there are, I think it looks like a bottle too. Okay. I paid more for these guys. These were not cheap. Are you ready? Courting couple. Here's the back. Okay, let me end them. I'm going to end them on my eBay right now, Miss Peggy. Okay, I ended them on my eBay. Now I can't even find the Sharpie. Oh, I found the Sharpie. Hold on. Musical bottle, bottle lantern. Thank you, Jim. Miss Peggy, email me at uh, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. Okay. So there's this one. Look at this one. I really like this one. A man giving a little sailor boy a ship. Look at how cute. And it's got like the ocean in the background. This one, 
is from, it doesn't say. So they put it into the booth in October of 79. Courting bottle drinks and music. Interesting. See, I'm learning. Thank you, guys. And then there is this lady. I love how they have the silhouette on the wall. These are curved glass. Yes, these are all curved glass. They're all curved glass. Um, these I would need to get 20 each. I paid $7.50. I'm like eight something in um, with the auction fees. So I would have to get 20 each on these. If I list these, some of these will probably be as high as $50 plus. Dollars. If you guys want them with the beveled glass, I would do 20 I have more. Here are more. Little boy and little girl with the glasses. This one is cute. Courting couple with the fountain. These are out of the antique mall that was, or the antique shop that was closed up for 20 years. And nobody touched the stuff. That's not bad. That's not bad. Pam said she found the lamp for 26. And all of these are curved glass. Them reading with the globe. Another courting couple scene. There's that one. I, I don't know. Somebody tell me why these have the plastic behind them. Can you see it? It almost looks like saran wrap, but it's in the frame. These are very old. But I don't know why they have the plastic like that. Does anybody know? Um, none of the frames are silver even in color. I do very well with courting couple, anything. This one is very pretty as well. This one is patented 1933. Number 2020 is the series number, but this is from 1933. Kathy, the man, um, hold on, because I want to make sure I set it to the side. Otherwise, it's going to get buried. This one, Kathy, I think Kathy wants this one. Hold on. And then Miss Betsy wants the little boy and girl. Hold on, I'm looking for it. Oh, the one with the globe. That one is so cute. Yes. This one for Miss Betsy. Okay, gotcha. Miss Betsy, what else did you want? I wrote Betsy $10 and I didn't write anything else. What was the first thing you wanted, Miss Betsy? There'll be 20 plus shipping. They'll be first class, so they, they will not be much to ship. Miss Betsy, tell me what was your first thing you got? Because I wrote Miss Betsy $10 and I didn't write what for. Okay, hold on. There are more. This is interesting. I guess they're blowing bubbles with a pipe. Look at that. It's like a father and son. Hey, Greg. Hello, hello. 
And then here's a man in a chair with a book smoking a pipe. It was another silhouette. Hold on, I'm looking. Where did I put it? Oh, it was this one, right, Miss Betsy? I got it. Got it. The bubble blowing one is very cute. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. There's there's still a lot. This is like a man with like a knapsack. And then here's another courting couple scene. Oh, here you go. To mother from Gracie, November 10th, 1940. So these are probably late 1930s, all of them. The bevel glass. Now, these I paid even more, but I think I saw comps and I think these go high. There's this one. The kiss, she did not get the kissing couple with the tree. Miss Betsy got the children. And then Kathy Spiker got the man with the boat. The kissing couple with the tree. I don't see the one with them kissing. There's one with them waving with the tree. And there's that one too. These are both still available, Mary. This one is the one that is signed and dated 1940. And then there's that one. I don't know which one you meant. The one with them to the side or the one with them in the middle. It's just a black silhouette. Hold on. Oh, dropping more stuff. There's that one. I put it to my right. Oh, that one. That's the one with the fish. The courting couple signed and dated. Yes. Holly Brown, this one. The signed lamp. Um, Pam said it had sold for 28 on eBay. I would do 25 on the signed lamp. Hold on. Holly Brown, courting couple signed. I got that. Oh, no, it was fish. Okay, I got it. Make sure you guys email me or I will lose my mind. Selena, $25. Okay, this is one of my favorites too. And I believe this is hand painted, guys. I got two of these. And I paid up for them. I love these. These are two of my favorite. I think they are hand painted. You guys have to email me and I'll have it. I'm setting the stuff you want to the right. This one is very pretty too. This one is signed Underwood Jewelry Company in Palatka, Florida. So most of these are probably, like I said, 19, 1920s, 1930s. Okay. These are amazing. Are you ready? Look at this postcards book. 
The spine is a little worn. This is probably 1920s. Look. Like that. I love stuff like this. Um, the tag on, there are no cards in it. The tag on it says it was $69. But this is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm going to be listing this weekend too, Greg. Just wait, there's better. If you like vintage albums, this is going to probably blow your mind. The Circular Lady Jewelry Company. Got it. I looked. I looked. Um, it doesn't feel like leather. I don't think it's leather. I don't think it's leather. Hold on. I still haven't finished showing you this thing. Let me put this for Holly. And you got to email me or I'll lose my mind. Are you ready to see the rest of this? So this is the front. Look at this. Look at that. How cool is that? I'm trying to make sure there are no pictures. There were pictures at some point. Somebody took them out. Just checking. And then at the back, it's got for little ones. Look at how cute. This is amazing. Oh, amazing. Okay. I broke this. I broke this at the auction. I did not break it here tonight, but I think I might. So I broke the handle off. You want to see the sad part? This is what I broke with those picture albums. I set them on top of it and it broke it. This is the piece. I'm frozen. Can you still hear me? Hold on. I'm adding me back. Can you see me now? Am I not frozen? I bet that's Richard messaging me to tell me I'm frozen. Am I unfrozen? Can you guys see me and hear me? Can't see me. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay, hold on.
Okay. Can you see me now? Wait. Tell me if you can see me. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Hold on. I'm making sure you guys can see me. Okay. So here's what I broke. Yay, I'm back. Do you see this? I broke this by sitting that um, photo album on top of it. This is from 1908 and it was perfect until I broke it. Um, so I will try to fix it. And then this has got like a iridescent, it's kind of strange, like a pink iridescent ashtray. Well, having a repair, hi, Thrifting Vegas will be better than me throwing it away when it's a 110 year old piece. Oh, um, Brigida, email me. Um, that's one that I'm going to look up or make me an offer. Tiffany is coming on soon, guys. Um, Tiffany will be on our show here soon. All right. Chat. Here's the other one of those two. Yeah, Tiffany is coming on our Tuesday night live, I think in two weeks. I think two weeks. Now, this is what I saw and freaked out. This is a daguerreotype case. Now, they had it at 125. I do not think I will get 125. I think I will only get about 30 to 40. I don't know what I want for that album. That album I'm researching because I feel like that album could be very, very valuable. So I'm not, that's one thing I'm not going to price. Um, this says the hinge was patented in 1856. So the, the pictures you guys see me selling for like 100, 150, this is a case for them. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Awesome idea, Tiffany. The two lady pictures. Which one, Cece? I have a lot of lady pictures. And then, are you ready? Check this out. I got this for $5. See it? And I bet I'll get more than $150 for this. I paid five bucks. All right. This was claimed in yesterday's video. Oh, and here's the other one. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh, those two. Those I I would I would do 20 each. They might be worth 50 to 100 each, but I would do 20 each. Okay, this sold yesterday. This you cannot have. <laughs> I I already sold the strawberry to somebody. This is a really cool vintage strawberry. The lady in the round black frame. Um, okay, hold on. So the two she's talking about are here. Yes, the strawberry. Melinda, was that you that wanted the strawberry? Yes. These two, I have to get 20 each. I feel like they're worth a lot more. You want these two, Cece? Uh, ask Melinda what I told her. I told her something cheap. I do these cheap at what I'm doing because I haven't researched and I'm not going to research or I might be mad. Um, 
All right, so two round. Ceramic. Tell me what you're buying when you email me. Um, you know what, for the daguerreotype frame, I do 25 and it's got a $125 price tag, but you guys know prices go up and down. I would do 25 on it, Jody. Richard, I got to price the album. You want the most expensive thing I probably showed. I got to price it. I will not like want what I can get. I will do it for cheaper, but I have to price. I can't just like, I can't just do that one. 25, Jody, if you want it. It's nice. Dated 1856. Okay. I'm I, like, I look like I am schizophrenic if you guys saw the paper I'm writing on. He will get the whole, I mean, no, no, I, it might not be that much, Richard. I just want to look it up. Okay. Then there are these swans. They're not marked. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. These are pretty cool, the pair. Those are cool. Okay. Um... I have to get to the other. Hold on. I have empty boxes here. Are you ready for some cool stuff? I have a whole cart full. Your full name, PayPal email, what you're buying, and how much I told you. <laughs> Please. Please. Yes, Jody, I saw you. Okay. I have a whole cart full of stuff still. Whole cart. This is awesome. Does anybody want to take a guess where these were made? Where were these made? Anyone? I'll show you. I know. Where were they made and how much will they sell for? Don't screenshot that. Pam is correct. These are all made in Japan, my friends. And I think I will be able to get about 75 to 100 for these. Pam says 125, so maybe I should price them higher. I paid 1250 for this. I bought this by itself. There's not many that I bought by themselves, um, but that is one of them. Okay, more cool stuff. Check out these placemats. Like these are amazing. Oh wait, this is a table runner. It is all hand stitched. All hand stitched. This is absolutely gorgeous. And, and, oh, there are two of them. I thought there were placemats. I'm not a bro and I don't have Pokemon. Look at how beautiful these are. Yes, they're so amazing. Wait till you see what I got with them. Hold on, I can't get to it yet though. Okay, more cool stuff. Are you ready? I love this. I have to open it though, hold on. Like how cool would it be if there was jewelry in here? There's not, but this is still absolutely amazing.
look at how beautiful this is. And then inside are little teeny drawers. And they open. Little teeny drawers. This is so cute. Uh, I don't see any stains, Renee. If you want them, Renee, I'll do 30 for both. Wait. Hold on. Renee asked about the table runners first. Pam, are you wanting the table runners or are you wanting the jewelry box? Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Okay, I saw Renee ask about the runners first. So, the runners, I would like to get 30 for both of them. So, Renee, do you want the runners? And for the jewelry box, I would like to get 30. 30 and 30. The jewelry box is priced at 95. Uh, I'll do the swans for 10 bucks, Carla. Laura, I did not see your message. Okay. Renee's passing on the runners. Pam asked about the jewelry box first, I think. Pam, Pam, do you want this for 30? <laughs> I had to like move my book up. Pam or Renee? Pam, Pam asked first. So 30 for this. There's your top. That's awesome. Okay, Pam wants the jewelry box. Got it. I'm I, I'm gonna be such a mess. I'm gonna Pam jewelry box. It's black, but uh, Pam took it. It is that. There's more. There's a not like that though. There's there's more that's like that. Okay, Mary wants the runners. I'm gonna take them back out of here, but she only wants one. So I'll do 15 for one. Now people are messaging me on eBay. Okay, I think I hear Dalton. Uh, and Brad's asking me for our Mercari password. Okay. 15. Oh, Lucinda said she'll take the other one. Okay. Uh, which mini portraits? The paintings? Y'all are killing me. I'm not complaining, not complaining. I am trying. The runners are sold. Yes, Laura, I haven't got to those. Those are in here. Okay, there's more oriental stuff. These are just plain bowls. Plain bowls. I think there's a top. What does this say? Hold on. This says Japanese lacquer rice bowls with hand painted lids, set of five, $125. Hold on and I'll get the painted lids. There's one. There are five, it says, according to that paper. I'm looking for lids. There's that one. There are five of them. Okay, hold on. Let me see what else. And then, whoa. <laughs> Look at these 
coasters. Therefore, four coasters. And then this must be like the rice bowl server because this matches the bowls. Uh, miss, oh, look at the inside of that. Wow. Is this metal? No? Um, the two Mexican ones, hold on, because I did pay more for those. I don't know what Brad's trying to do. Hold on, let's check. The rice bowls are wood, like a thin wood, I guess. Let me see if I can find these pictures real quick. Um, real. I think mine's in perfect condition. Okay. Um, Marsha, I really want. I I want fifty for these two. I, I want 50. Um, I think I will probably price them if I put them online at like 75 a piece. So I would like 50 for the two of these. I did pay up for these. Oh no, Kathy. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I still have a whole cart full of stuff. I'm hanging out like all night. I am definitely 110% crazy, Greg. Definitely. I did not... Listen, so I'm, I'm going to have some Coke Zero real quick. When I'm by myself, I have, like, nobody to, like, take the wheel for me to, like, take a break. There's no break. And I've got my husband messaging me, asking me things. Hey, Sonny. All right, so... So Laura's saying she got 150, but her handle was broke. So maybe I can get more. Miss Marsha, let me know if you want those two. I want 50 for the two. All right, let's see what else. Look at this. Look at this one. That's pretty awesome. These these bowls are cool. Oh, look, the coasters have a holder. Ah, oh, look. They have a bowl. Look at the lid. Where'd the coasters go? They have a holder. Hey, Dave, look at that. Oh, I almost dropped them. I know, y'all just told me they're fragile and I'll drop them. Okay. Trying to see if any of these other ones are different. They're not. So I have the set of five, and then I have this one that's different. Okay. Hi, Irma. Thank you for watching. I'm showing all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Okay, look at this print. This is pretty cool. They are painted, and I bet money they are antique, Miss Marsha. I bet they're from the early 1900s, if not the late 1800s. They're definitely old. And they are painted. All right. I feel like somebody will want to watch, want to buy these. These are amazing. Hold on. Before I show you, I'm, I'm going to give some dolphins. Okay. Miss Marsha wants these two paintings. Hold on. I'm going to write this down. 
I'm gonna need another page, you guys. I'm gonna need another page. I don't have any room on my desk. Uh, Marsha paintings. Okay. I'm going to give Renee and Backbeat Rhythm a dolphin, and then I'm going to show you what I feel like somebody is going to want to buy. Somebody's going to want these. First, a dolphin for Miss Renee. Renee says, thank you for being willing to sell the stuff at us less than you would get on eBay. So nice of you, and you're great at multitasking. Thank you. Um, I am happy. I, then I don't have to list. You know, I'm making a little bit of profit. You guys get a good deal, and... I get rid of it fast, so I'm fine with that. All right, Miss Renee, here is your doll. And then Backbeat Rhythm also sent a one dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Miss Irma. To buy from me, if you let me know that you want something, you just tell me, and then I will. Um, you email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. And tell me what you got and you tell me um, what you want, how much I told you you could have it for because I will probably forget. And then um, your mailing address and your PayPal email. And then let me get Backbeat Rhythm and Dolphin. I see another one, another super chat. All right. Here's Backbeat Rhythm. Super chat. Marsha's calling dibs on what I'm holding in my hand. Um, one more super chat, Miss Marsha. I'll tell you how much. Um, we pick Texas. Just wanted to show you appreciation. You're a big inspiration for us in our business. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you watching. Here is a dolphin. Super chat. Okay. Thank you very much. So Miss Marcia said she wanted these before I've even shown them. These are some vintage, I believe they're 1960s pheasant salt and pepper shakers, 1960s. They do have the quirks and I would like to get $20 for the pair. Christy wants the pink ashtray. Where did the pink ashtray go? Hold on. Wait for it. I don't know where I put it. I found it. Okay. Pink ashtray for five for Christy. Got it. I need some more space somehow. Okay. Hold on. Let me mark this for Christy. Hold on. This is not meant to be a live sale, guys. I'm trying to do a haul, but if you guys want stuff, then I'm okay with that. You just have to email me, tell me, and yeah. Um, do I... Do I have tinsel in my hair? I do, um, and I, I love it, but it's starting, my hair's grown out a little bit since I dyed it, and I think that the brush is probably gonna catch the beads that um, wove it in my hair soon. Um, you can look for yarn on Hybid. You can get yarn lots on hybid.com. Renee, Miss Marsha beat you to these birds. Richard, you cannot have that album for $20. Okay. Miss Marsha, $20, Yellow Birds. Yeah, no, send me as many emails as you need to. My, I'm telling you, I look like a schizophrenic writing, like, I look like I have a mental problem. When I see some of my stuff, I like, yeah, but I know what I mean. Okay. 
Yeah, that was a really nice try, Richard. There's still a lot of stuff. Hold on. Okay. Who knows who made this? Now we're learning. Who knows who made this bowl? Anyone, anyone? It says as is, but I don't see any chips. Be careful, Terry. Anybody, anybody? It is Hager. And this is probably a 14 inch bowl. It's Hager. Pretty bowl. There, there is Celadon coming up. Um, Hold on. Two small portraits that were $20 each I want. Um, I don't know that there are any left. I think somebody already claimed them. I think someone claimed them. I think they are just regular Hager. I don't see any portraits. I think somebody claimed the portraits because I set them to my right. Okay. I need to give Miss Mary a dolphin. Miss Mary said, I love hanging out with you on Friday night. Thank you for all the love you give to your flipping family. You're very welcome. I love hanging out with you guys too. When I buy this much, it takes like forever, but I'm, I love hanging out with you guys. So thank you so much for the super chat. Here's it all. Super chat. I don't. Okay. So Christine, I believe the portraits are gone. Um, yes. Jody's saying yes. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It is a very big serving piece. Okay. I don't know what's in this box. Oh, I also got this vase. I don't know what this is. Pretty cool. Oh, it's not signed. Pretty cool piece. I don't know. Um, I don't think Republic of China, it's, um, what's the name of it? Maybe. I don't know what that thing is. I really don't. I really don't. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to show you the Celadon vases. You guys saw that in the video yesterday. Here are their stands, which one stand doesn't match the others. Um, hold on. Now these, and I do not know Celadon. I am going to have to research. These are marked olive green Celadon vase. This one's marked 65. This is the smallest, I think. Oh no, there's two. They match. They're both marked $65. And then there's a big one. This one's marked. Ah, I can't read it. I think it's marked 85. Yeah. 85. So it's a set of three. Celadon bases. I have to research. I tried to look up. I couldn't find any like this, but I haven't tried to Google lens them. All right. I cannot see red clay underneath. Hey, Stoney. Thank you for coming in. 
Let's see. I don't know what's in here. What is this? It says $2. It's like an old plate. Just a regular old plate. Now, this was on the video. This is made in China. Here's the teapot, though. This is a really nice set. Um, hold on. I, don't, I really don't know what's in this box. Okay, there's the teapot. And then there's four cups. And then there's this gorgeous serving tray. This is really, really pretty. I don't see a top to the teapot. I'm looking. I think the top to the teapot. Oh, wait. I think I found it. I found it. Yes, I miss going to the auction. Um, I don't think I can go again next week because I buy too much stuff, obviously. There's that one. Okay. This one says LJ65. The little studio pottery leaf bowl. Yeah, I was nodding and talking to them, Laura, which you guys, of course, couldn't see me. Um, but I was nodding and talking to them. This is pretty cool. This is a Niagara Falls, Canadian Horseshoe Falls, Bridal Veil Falls. And this was all in that box that I got for $22.50. Let's see what else is in here. Ah! What does this say? This is just like a fishbowl. This is boring. This, I think you guys saw in the video as well. I love this. Love it. So this says Via Vermont Artistry and Glass Greetings Box. Look at this. Whoa, I'm like looking for stuff. I'm trying to really multitask. Isn't that cool? There, now you can see it. And it's cobalt blue glass. Is that? I don't think it's broken. This is a Nesco. This is so cool. The teapot is like a gray black, a gray black. I love this. Love it. Okay. Now I also, this guy says made in Japan. He's a little, I think he's a collie. He looks like a collie to me. The problem with this stuff, Lucinda, is it's almost all the lion box. How much is the lion box? Who asked first? Hold on. Miss Marsha asked first, Miss Kathy, and you're next. Um, I would like to get 15 for the lion box. I would like to get 15. Marsha beat you, Kathy. Let's see if Miss Marsha wants it. If not, you can get it. Uh, 15, and it does still have the tag inside. I've got a mirror. Okay, there's the puppy. I'll wait to see if one of you wants that. Boring. So I'm going to get a lot of boring. 
So it, does okay mean you want it, Miss Marsha? You were first. This is kind of cool. This says, Am a boy, Bangkok, March 1969. Uh, I see Renee asking about the teapot set. Um, for the teapot set, I would I would do 40. I would do 40. I'm waiting to see if Miss Marcia says okay means she wants the lion box. Yes on the box. On the puppy. Um like ten dollars. Did I show now I don't remember if I showed you guys this. Amma Boy Bangkok 1969. This is cool. This is cool. Okay, so I got the box. No, Kathy. No, Renee, and only because it's going to take a hell of a lot of time for me to ship, and time is money, my friend. Okay, puppy pass. Gotcha. That's a lot of packing. A lot of packing. Okay. I have no clue what we're getting into. What is this, guys? What is this? It says liquor. I think it says liquor bottle. Woo! Woo! Definitely a liquor bottle. Kind of cool. It's got a little cabin there in the mountain. Woo, this... You can smell the liquor. Smell the liquor. Ooh. Indiana made, but not sure. Interesting. I really wish I had. Okay, these, I, I have to test these. So I have to test these. Because the tag says set of eight silver napkin rings. $120. So you would think for $120 that they're sterling, but I looked and I don't see that they're marked. This is them. There's a set of eight. Um, so I need to test and see if they're sterling. Renee, do you want the teapot? Okay, let me put this over here. That's a lot of packing. That's a lot of, and it's going to be a 14 by 14 box. And I think I pay like 250 each for the 14 by 14 box. Okay. Writing it down. Okay. I got it. Okay. Next. I don't know any of this stuff. Oh, I see something very cute down there. What is this? Do we have any Canadians? Gina, are you here? Gina's Canadian. What is this? So it says Canada. It's the coat of arms from Canada. But it's got this. Is it like a terracotta ceramic frog? What is this? Which vase? Which face did you find? The that white that white one? My hair. Listen, I don't know how I still have hair. Like, I really don't know. It like is coming out. Anyway, see this? I don't know. Because how would you get garlic in there? Oh, yeah, you could stick incense in it, I guess. I don't know. It has this thing to hang it. 
Did I break it? I did not break it. I'm getting really lucky. Sorry for your ears. Okay, now you can't hang it. It's that old. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, there's that. Sorry for screaming. Not trying to break things. Okay. This is really cool. Are you ready? It didn't break, Richard. Didn't break. <laughs> I was lucky, Bobby. You're right. I was lucky. Look at this mushroom dish. How cool is this stone mushroom dish? It scared me more than anything. Like, how cool is that, right? Ten dollars, Mary. I'll do. I'll do ten. That's very cute. Y'all are making me need more paper. Mary already took it. <laughs> Christmas shopping live. I should give you each like your own paper. Oh, you want to see the album, Kathy? I'll show you the album. But I'm not selling the album until I research it, guys. Not selling it until I research it. Oh, it's buried. Hold on. This is the album. And I bet it's like late 1800s, early 1900s. This is that the infamous album. I'm not breaking your mushroom dish. It's on the right. But the right's kind of piled up. That's the infamous album. Richard says he wants it. I have to research it. I have to research it. Let me, I'm going to try and Google Lens it, Richard. Let's try and Google Lens it. Let me take this sticker off. Who is messaging me? Richard, that's fine. Hold on. I have like 5 million messages. If you're messaging me, I cannot read them right now except for Richard. Hold on. I don't see anything. I don't see anything, Richard. It not there's no photos. It's just these very thick pages. Like, do you see how thick? And they're gold. This is a really cool photo album. Ow! Now it has my hair. Um, hold on. Okay, let's keep going. This is cute, too. A little frog sponge holder. He's very dirty. I will, Richard. I will when I have time. Plain white glass. I want you to see it's not all cool. Marcia said that it's 1800s. Um, Laura, Miss Anita was talking about using Coke. She said you put a Coke in the washer with clothes and it takes out stains. Okay, hold on. This says... Canada Centennial, 1867 to 1967. Yeah, it's definitely more with my hair. No listings, 400. Richard, they are, they are staying, your photo album is hundreds of dollars. 
Hold on. Are you ready for another cute tea set? Hold on. This one says, what does it say? Dragon and Chrysanthemum Tea Set. Hold on. $95 is what it says. And then it has the two wool things. What are these? Are these like a creamer and sugar for a Japanese tea set? Somebody teach me. Uh, yes, it is stamped. Here you go, Bobby. The woo looks like it had a chip. The what? This doesn't have a chip. The album is on worth point. How much is it on worth point for, Pam? The lid. Oh, the lid does have a chip. You're right. The lid has a little chip. For loose tea. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Tell me how much it sold for, Pam, or do you not have a worth point? I forget. Okay. Hold on. Oh! Okay. Hold on. I got to move some stuff. I'm going to show you. Look, here's a gold spray painted pine cone. Oh, this one's in really good shape. She says the one on Etsy is $250 and in bad shape. Okay, look at, what is this? It says covered candy compote. No pictures. Look at the color of this. Like, how amazing is this? I love this. Okay, hold on. I got to move this stack of plates to show you. <laughs> Kathy. Ah. Okay, hold on. There's a very boring plain glass ashtray. This matches the mushroom. All of this stuff was like in an antique mall. Bye, Backbeat Rhythm. Thank you again for the super chat. Um, this was all in an antique mall for over 20 years. Uh, Holly, the green jar, I'd do 20. All right. Hold on. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. How do I want to do this? It's an Empoli Italian Jazz Empoli jar. I love it too. These, I did comp. Look at these shades. There were better shades. Okay, Holly says she'll take it. I have to set it under the desk. There's no more room on the desk. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Hold on. Okay, first I'm going to show you these shapes. These should go for about $60 a piece. Um, these are marked. They are new art. You see there? 
up on the very top, they are marked. There were some nicer ones, but I got in a bidding war for them and I lost. Richard, you said you had to go. Okay. These are cool. Okay, let me write down Holly. Now, these plates, let me write green jar Holly. What'd I say? Did I say 20? What'd I say? I think I said 20. Okay. These plates are collector's plates, but they are beautiful. These are Hans Christian Andersen from his fairy tale series. Now, some of these plates go for like 15 to 20. If you want any of these plates, I will do $5 each and I will combine shipping. Okay. So I'm going to show you the plates and they, they are beautiful. The first one, and these are from 1975. This one is titled The Little Mermaid. And these are Hans Christian Andersen, Royal Copenhagen, Denmark. So $5 each on any of these plates. I have a whole stack of them. I'm going to show them to you. This next one is called Thumbelina. Again, 1975, Royal Copenhagen, Denmark from his fairy tale series. This one is The Nightingale. This one is the princess and the pea. They are very pretty. Can you see the gold? I got the gold catching good there. Um, Tina said she wants the plates. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it would be sixty dollars for all of them. Here's the next one. This one is the shepherds and the chimney sweep. This one is the Emperor's New Clothes. They are all signed on the back. Oh, Richard. Are you there? Hold on. Got them. So. I got them. I don't know if Richard left. Richard said he had to leave soon. Um, hold on. Let me get back to StreamYard. Um, Tina. Do you, there are, since you said it first, there are 12 plates. Do you want all of them for $60? She said done. So Tina is taking all 12. I will show you the rest. We have not seen the rest. This is the Snow Queen. I got them, Gina. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The Ugly Duckling. It's okay, Richard. I thought you might have went ahead and left. This is the Steadfast Tin Soldier. Thank you, Pam. This one is the Tender Box. Sorry, Betsy. She got them all, Miss Marsha. This is the Red Shoes. And last is the little match girl. All right. So these are going to Miss Tina. Hold on. I don't want to break them. Ah. Hi, Norma Jean. 
I'm running out of room. So Miss Tina, email me at the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and um, with your mailing address, your email address, what you're getting and uh, shipping address so I can get you a quote for shipping. Um, I do 60 for the two lampshades and I'll tell you they jump for about, they jump. I'm reading <laughs> that Marsha should have jumped on it. Uh, the lampshades sell for about $65 a piece on eBay. I would do $60 for both. Hi, Miss Nancy. Okay. What's next? Oh, there's more liquor, guys. There's more liquor. Should I smell it again? This looks Dutch. Windmill. Let's smell it. That one's not as strong as the tulip one. I meant the, the other one. Hold on. These are weak compared to the other. <laughs> There's the hey, Miss Jane. There's that one. All right. What else? We are getting close to the end. Look at this little noodle bowl. I do very well selling noodle bowls, guys. Um, I don't have my tape measure. I would say they're about eight inches. Six to eight inches. There's my hand. Probably eight. Probably eight. They're beautiful. The other ones went really high. I fought for them. They had like a tulip. Um, they were like ruffled on the edges. They were so awesome. Maybe that is Vandermint chocolate liqueur. Maybe it is. Okay. What's next? Oh. So. This says Chinese Imari bowl, six inch diameter, 1900 to 1920. This is the bowl I picked up out of the box and was like, okay, I'm going to bid on this box. This is a beautiful bowl. There's the inside. I love this bowl. Here's some plain old red bowls made in Taiwan. You get the bottom of the bowl? Yes, you may. Just says China. Interesting. I don't know. There's no mark. It says China. I don't know. Um, with the information, hey, Glenn, with the information I have, Christine, for this bowl, I would do 40. Without me looking it up. And you could have two plastic bowls. Oh, I think this is my favorite piece out of the box. I like this, guys. I really like it. You ready? Look at this dish. I really like this. Okay, mean you want to get it, Christine, or just okay? <laughs> this does not have a maker's mark. Who is messaging me? Okay. Somebody just, do you mean this one, Pam? Hold on. Oh, look at this. Look 
at this with the gold keys. This is a glass tray. That's kind of cool, too. Thank you, Gina. This is really cool. Richard, I'll give you an extra dolphin. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. What is this? I can't read that. Made in the USA. Does anybody know about these? They say made in the USA and it looks like an eye. Oh, I can read it now. It's Irvinware. I can read it in the camera. Irvinware coasters. Okay, I'm going to give Bobby. Bobby sent a $9.99 super chat. These are really heavy. Irvinware. Okay, I've never heard of that. Okay. Let me give Miss Bobby a dolphin, and then I'm going to give Richard a dolphin because he's working so hard to help me for free. Super All right, Richard. Oh, Richard can have the new member dolphin. Richard, you can have the new member dolphin. Here you go. Thank you, Miss Bobby. Richard gets a special one. Welcome to the flipping family. There you go, Richard. The key tray. Where did I put it? Uh, 10, Gina. 10. RP Ken, I have not. I have not. I do not know where they are. That's why. So email me again and remind me. Let me write a note. And remind me how much I told you. Because I lose my mind sometimes. I know you guys think that I'm doing so great. <laughs> yeah, only over a year. You want this one, Gina? For the, for the keys tray, $10? No, I have not sent it. I have not sent it. But remind me. I do need a secretary. I agree. Okay, what else is in this box? This is a plain Jane. It is kind of organized chaos. Okay, I think these are worth money. These are worth money, I think. I wonder when these are from. Okay. Sorry for hiding them. Look at these. Gorgeous. I love old pictures. If you have not learned that yet, I love old pictures. I'm going to set those to the side because I want to list them too. Okay. What are these cups? We are almost done. These are Gibson Everyday Coffee Cups. Sometimes you get boring stuff in the box, and that's okay. All right. I don't think I'm going to sell this one, guys. Um, there, It looked like there's, like, a paper. There's a paper. But I can't read it. That's what I was looking at. I don't want to, the other one, the paper's not. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I would, I would guess no. I would guess no. 
I would guess no. Okay, this is not for sale. Not for sale. Because this is going to be listed. Richard, you have expensive taste, my friend. Look at this. Am I frozen? Here's the matching spoon. I can't refresh on fuzzy. I can pull myself out. Hold on. Hold on. Can you guys hear me? What about now? Am I clearer? My hair is a mess. Okay, here's a spoon. Here's the amazing bowl. Here's the stamp on this one. This one is Hong Kong. Rose medallion bowl, six inch. They had it priced at 200 circa. Why am I frozen again? Okay. Ah, am I back? Abby saying Ming Dynasty. This is an amazing piece. So this one is not for sale. Do you see me now? Can you see me now? Okay. We're almost through. My camera's getting tired and so is Richard. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a clothesline, it says. Look. And it has these old clothespins. Did Gina say no to the key tray? Gina, did you say no to the key tray? Did I miss it? Gina, tell me if you want the key tray. If not, the upcycled shed wants it. So this is an underwear little clothespin thing for your unmentionables. Yeah, maybe for camping. Yes. Richard, is that you? Nope, it's not you. My phone's about to die. My phone's going to die. What was on the, bo the bottom of the not for sale bowl? Where did I put the not for sale bowl? I mean, it is for sale, but I want to research it. Yeah, it will be for sale. It'll just probably be for sale at a very, very high price. Okay, hold on. Oh, there's more of the trays I love. Okay. I still don't see if Gina said. So Upcycled Shed, email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and I will let you know if Gina wanted that because Gina said it first, so I hate to take it from her. I don't know if she's still in here. So I'm going to write upcycled shed slash Gina. I'm writing in the 
but I'm going to set it to the side so I know it's sold. I have like a giant stack. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. It looks like there's another tray that looks similar to the key tray in this box. This is marked Korea, a tile, or not a tile trivet, just a trivet. Mark Korea. And then these match that tray I said I loved. Okay, are you ready? Look. There's that one. That one. Uh, $10 for the clothesline. That one. That's the set of trays. This is just a little plain vase. Oh, upcycled shed was first. Okay. So I got upcycled shed. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Okay, Carmen wants the clothesline. If you guys could see this paper. Maybe sushi plates. Yeah, that sounds right. This is a little, this is probably more modern, just generic little heart base. Let me take the clothesline for this Carmen. Okay, I think there's another tray. Oh, it's a matching one. It's matchy matchy. Gina, do you want the other one? Matchy matchy. You could both have one. Okay, so if Gina wants the other one, look, there are two. Gina, if you want the other one, you can have the other one. If not, um, Upcycled Shed, do you want both if Gina does not want the other one? I said I thought it looked like it. They are exactly the same. Okay. Hold on. I got to figure out how I'm going to get to the other end. Not breaking things. Nothing broke. Nothing broke. Okay. Gina, she only wants one. So if you want the other key tray, you can have it. Okay. There are like five things left. We are almost done. I do not. I think it's wood. Look at this rhinoceros. rhinoceros is really cool nothing's gonna break richard nothing's gonna break, nothing's gonna break. quit cursing me are you guys ready for this ah! check this out pulley cord amber glass Uh, 15 for the Rhino. This is a plug one with a very long cord. There's the cord. You want this lamp or that lamp? There are two lamps. This is cool. Kathy, okay, Kathy said she wants the lamp. Um, I don't know how much to charge for this lamp. I think he is wood. Where did he go? 
I lost them already. Oh no, I found them. Kathy, you tell me what you want to pay for this lamp. Tell me what, first, uh, hold on. Kathy, tell me what you think is fair for this lamp. You tell me. Tell me what you think is fair for the lamp. And then I'm going to show this rhinoceros. I think this rhinoceros is wood. I'm not, I'm not positive. I think he's wood. That's the bottom of him. I'm not sure. It's, I honestly am not sure. I think he is wood, but I'm not positive. He's really cool, whatever he is. Yeah, tell me. You tell me. It's hanging. It's got like 5 million feet of chain. Not really, but it seriously probably has 20 feet of chain. Okay, Kathy. Sold. So message me, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. I'll take it. Kathy Bulb Lamp. Wait till you see the other one. Okay. There's another amazing lamp. Let me set the lamp down. Are you ready for the other lamp? This other lamp's old too. I can tell by the cords. Oh yeah, Nancy, do you want the rhino for 15? I'm running out of room on my paper, guys. Okay, Nancy wants the rhino. Nancy, you guys have got to email me. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind anyways. Hello, Cavi Central. Cavi, Cavies, Cavies. Okay. Are ready for the other lamp? There's the other lamp, and then there's like three more things. Atomic Redhead says it sold for 95 Kathy told me she would give me 50 and I took it. I'm happy with $50. This is like deals for you guys, and I don't have to list it. All right, this lamp is awesome too. Check this out. Check out this lamp. There's the cord. So I'd probably say like 70s or 80s would be my guess on this one. The base is wood. There's no name. So this is a nice lamp. There's no shade. No shade. Okay, hold on. I'll be back. Oh, I think I see why. Hold on. It's StreamYard. It's not me. It's not me. It's StreamYard. Am I better? I'm almost done. You don't need a wrench to bid. We're not bidding. I'm just selling. I'm really just showing a haul. If you want to buy, you just tell me and I'll tell you price. Here is the lamp. Is it better or worse? Now I'm frozen. Oh, StreamYard. Okay, what about now? Anyone? I took myself out for it to reset. Can you see me? 
We only have three things left. Four things. It's StreamYard. It's not me. Black. Oh, StreamYard. Okay, it's StreamYard, it's not me. So here's this lamp. I think this is like 70s. It's pretty cool. It's StreamYard, it's StreamYard, it's not me. Okay, there's the lamp. There's the bottom. There's the cord. I think this one's like 70s. No, no shade. Yeah, it's, it's really, really pretty. Very, very pretty. I don't think it's signed or anything. It does have a couple of imperfections. There's like a, where did it go? It's not overly noticeable. Yes, the colors are very bright. There's one little like imperfection. And then, okay, hold on. Come to me. This old teapot. It has a copper bottom. Um, Marsha, the lamp will depend on weight and size in your zip code and my zip code, if you mean that last one. Um, this thing will come off, so it won't be that long. Um, it's probably about seven pounds. I guess with UPS, my guess would be if you're on the East Coast, about $20. If you're on the West Coast, about $30 to $35 would be my guess on that lamp. All right. Copper bottom on this tea kettle. You can see there's no name on it. Tea kettle. Thank you, Gina. Okay, and then can I reach them is the question. I have this old measuring cup. Pretty cool. And then, come here. Last two things, last two things. Sorry if I'm flashing you with my butt. This plate, I think this is pears. Pears. Not marked. And then this just says oven proof oven basics. Anchor Hawking. Majolica, yes. There's the Anchor Hawking. Doesn't say a year. It just says Anchor Hawking USA. All right. Yes, Majolica. These are the last two things. That is everything I got at the auction that I spent $713 on. I have already sold the... Uh, two cups, Renee. Two cups. How much do you, how much is this worth? Don't be cheap. It's green. Okay. Renee, I'm putting you for the anchor hawking. Okay, $5. I think you have other stuff. I don't know at this point what the heck's going on. I did not plan on you guys getting this much stuff. So thank you. Now I'll have a lot of work to do. Um, milk glass or pink? I don't think so. I did. They had a lot of milk glass. If you guys 
see stuff, um, then let me know. I I didn't. I I wish I sold out. I didn't sell out. But I look. I'll show you guys my like crazy thing. Ah, I didn't break it. I almost broke it. Richard cursed me. Richard's trying to make me break things. Thank you for staying, Richard. I appreciate you. Look at this. This is like I had to write in the spine because I was out of lines. So I will, I'm not going to invoice tonight. It is almost midnight. Um, I will, <laughs> I will have a lot to pack and ship out. Um, I will send out invoices tomorrow. I am off tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to do a high dollar what's sold because I haven't done it. No, um, that's fine. Or if you don't want it, Renee, that's fine either way. Um, all right, guys. Um, that is it. If you got something, I will email you. Yeah, Richard, <laughs> I, I appreciate you guys watching. We still have 238 people watching. Thank you all. If you bought something, thank you. That'll keep me from having to take pictures and post it. Um, I think only three things were were already listed, and that's fine. Um, and if you're watching after, just email me and see if it's available. And I did not give Miss Patricia A. her dolphin. So here is your dolphin, and I will see you guys on tomorrow with a high dollar what sold high dollar what sold once um miss marcia once you email me email me at the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and i will email you back i need your shipping address because i actually go ahead and box stuff up and i get an exact shipping cost to charge you. That's why I'm not invoicing tonight because I actually box it when I invoice. Um, so make sure you send me your shipping address, your PayPal address, and what you won uh, to the nurse slipper at yahoo.com. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a high dollar what sold. I have not done one in about three weeks and we've had a lot. We've had over 3,000 in sales the last two weeks each week. Um, which is amazing. So we've sold over $6,000 the last two weeks. So we have been very, very busy. So I appreciate you guys. Special thanks again to Richard Opnip Draw Flips for putting up with me and helping me whenever I go live. I really appreciate Richard. And actually, don't go anywhere, guys. We still have over 200 people. Give me just a second. Um, give me just one second. Don't leave me, guys. Don't leave me. Um, Richard has 663 subscribers. Really like to get sure to um I frozen. I would like to get Richard to a thousand subscribers for Christmas, guys. Here I believe is Richard's channel. Please go over and subscribe to Richard if you have not. He helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. And he sells some pretty cool stuff and does a lot of retail arbitrage as well. So please go over to Otnip Draw Flips and check him out and subscribe to him. Let's try and get Richard to a thousand subscribers before Christmas, guys. It's Otnip, Otnip Draw. It's Ford Pinto Flips Backwards is what it is. Um, and I, I have put in his link. Thank you guys for subscribing to Richard. Thank you guys for hanging out so long. I will see you tomorrow night.